Hi, this is Dennis Sturgeon. I'd like to review this Valley Stream mapping process with subject matter experts. And this is specifically about preparing to map with subject matter experts and to help them understand what they need to do. It's part two in a series and it's to be shared with the subject matter experts in advance in some kind of electronic form. In the part one, we talked about why it's important to understand the process and the value stream. We talked about what's in it for you and your organization. And process SMEs or subject matter experts know better than anyone except customers how well a process works as well as where there's waste. When you have a picture of your value stream, you can see your process capability more clearly. You can see the flow and the constraints in your process. You can also document what adds value to the customer and you document what is waste. You can also document the estimated or actual values and you have evidence or a baseline of the starting point for improvement. We have an opportunity to gather details from subject matter experts and it's really important that you make sure you know what's in it for you and your organization as well as that you've got the advanced materials to the subject matter experts for their review and it really requires an experienced value stream map facilitator. I urge you to practice if you're trying this for the first time. It's important to use a facilitator with a process discipline of sticky notes. It can be done electronically, but it's important for you to rehearse with sticky notes before you attempt this with a group. It's important to review the advanced materials and the process with the entire team. It's a way for us to capture the process flow and the decisions in the process, as well as the roadblocks and pain in that process. It's an opportunity for us to brainstorm ideas for improvement with the subject matter experts and begin to document the volumes and the values and then prioritize action items. A review, I will not read all of these to you, but I urge you to Take a look in depth at this list with the PDF that is available to you for free. Take a look at this process and review this before you begin processing with a team of subject matter experts. It's also important for them to review this as well. I also want you to remember this before you begin that if you looked at the first section in this series, you'll identify what is it that's in it for you to improve yourself and your organization's work will now take you through how to get more value from your process. The basic principles of effectiveness that are important for facilitating this is to make sure we review with the team as well as the guests and observers. What are the basic principles of effectiveness? This requires that we focus on the situation issue or behavior and not on the personalities. We want to maintain constructive communications and relationships throughout. We're going to take initiative to act to make better results as the facilitator, and we can use this to ask the same thing of the subject matter experts. But we need to lead by personal example and keep our focus on the purpose. We also need to remind them that consensus of the team means I can live with it, not that everything's perfect. We want to make sure that we give every issue time. We want to make sure that we finish in time and on time because time management is an important part of value stream mapping. We also want to remind everybody that we have Las Vegas rules, meaning what's shared in our learning is confidential information about our persons and our organizations. It stays confidential. And of course, we want to remember last of all that we're smarter in a group than we are individually. The basic principles of subject matter expert brainstorming is that we ask them to think as individuals first, ask them to not edit themselves or others, and then to begin speaking up one voice at a time and to listen to each other. Ask what questions to clarify the meaning of what somebody else has said and leave politics and policy, turf and levels and training manuals at the door. They're not appropriate for value stream mapping. They don't help, they hurt. Guests who are welcome to listen and observe are welcome, but they are not to speak until invited to do so at the end of the value stream mapping. And anybody, whether a participant or the guest or the facilitator takes discussion outside the agenda to the parking lot, preferably posted on the door or the wall outside 
the facility where you're doing this value stream mapping. The mapping process is pretty simple. If you've reviewed this, I'll just quickly say that we use different colored sticky notes and give them to the subject matter experts and everybody has an opportunity to go up to the easel sheets that we've placed on the wall and we make sure that everybody has an opportunity with a color separated sticky note and a marker to write their thoughts on a three by three inch sticky. The process of mapping is we start with blue action steps, we move on to issues in pink or a reddish color, we move on to yellow ideas after that, and then we move on last to identify what are the values and volumes in green. We allot about 45 minutes for the first stage and about 20 minutes each or less for each of the three remaining stages. We ask people to think about what's the aim of the process and what delivers process outcomes or outputs to the customer. We ask subject matter experts to think about what happens 80% of the time in the process, not worry about what happens 5% of the time. We don't care about documenting that right now, although later we will come to it. We ask what step has to happen to start the process and what step ends the process by delivering what the customer needs. And we ask our subject matter experts to talk about the steps that take 15 minutes or more to complete. There's a reason for this, and it is to stimulate the brainstorming, to stimulate the thinking. And we ask people to think of the 10 to 20 steps that are most important to be documented. It's an iterative process, and the process map does not need to be perfect. It documents a baseline for improvement of the process and further improvement of the value stream map is a way to improve the process. It's important for us to think about these simple suggestions and I will not read them all to you, but we want you to think about these ideas, review them carefully. If you're facilitating for the first time, make sure you get the affirmation from the participants and the subject matter experts that they've understood this and that they have no questions. Make sure that you keep them focused on the whole stream as a whole team. We want them to describe it the way it is, not the way they want it to be initially. It's important to identify these basic process steps before they start to arrange them in sequence. And it's important for us to start simply because it's an iterative process and we can improve it later. And last, when we check in with the subject matter experts, it's important for us to confirm that they've read the slides and the related materials in part one and two. It's important to review the basic principles of effectiveness and brainstorming, review the value stream mapping process, and make sure and give the subject matter experts the color stickies one color at a time with a medium marker for each of them. It's important to remind the guests to listen and observe only and ask them, the subject matter experts, to come to the wall where the sticky pads are started. And then they start the process of cooperation and dialogue using the process that you're going to coach them to follow. I appreciate your time. As this is the second in a series, I will share with you Part three is coming up soon. You're welcome to go look at that and refer back to this at any time. Please give me a call or an email if I can be of any help to your understanding. Thank you.